Welcome to The Amazing Facts. Stay tuned. Top 10 Bizarre Disasters. Subscribe our channel for more videos. Through history, there have been some dreadful disasters leading to enormous numbers of deaths. There have also been a number of disasters that were just outright weird. This is a list of those 10 most bizarre disasters. Number 10. The Chanka Forest Elephant Stampede. In 1972, the Chanka Forest area in India, experienced a terrible drought and heat wave. The local elephants, who normally were no problem, became so crazed by the high temperatures and lack of water that the villagers told authorities they were afraid to venture out and to farm their land. By summer the situation had worsened. On July the 10th, the elephant herds went berserk and stampeded through five villages, leaving general devastation and 24 deaths in their wake. Ironically, the area is now very lush and wet and is actually known as an elephant sanctuary. Number 9, The Basra Mass Poisoning In September 1971 a shipment of 90,000 metric tons of seed grain arrived in the Iraqi port of Basra. The American barley and Mexican wheat, which had been chemically treated with methyl mercury to prevent rot, were sprayed a bright pink to indicate their lethal coating, and clear warnings were printed on the bags, but only in English and Spanish. Before they could be distributed to the farmers, the bags were stolen from the docks, and the grain was sold as food to the starving populace. The Iraqi government, embarrassed at its criminal negligence or for other reasons, hushed up the story. And it was not until two years later that an American newsman came up with evidence that 6,530 hospital cases of mercury poisoning were attributable to the unsavory affair. Officials would admit to only 459 deaths, but total fatalities were probably more like 6,000, with another 100,000 suffering such permanent effects as blindness, deafness and brain damage. Number 8, The Texas City Chain Reaction Explosions On April 15, 1947, the French freighter Grand Camp docked at Texas City, Texas, and took on some 1,400 tons of ammonium nitrate fertilizer. That night a fire broke out in the hold of the ship. By dawn, Thick black smoke had port authorities worried because the Monsanto chemical plant was only 700 feet away. As men stood on the dock watching, tugboats prepared to tow the freighter out to sea. Suddenly a ball of fire enveloped the ship. For many it was the last thing they ever saw. A great wall of flame radiated outward from the wreckage, and within minutes a Monsanto plant exploded, killing and maiming hundreds of workers. Most of the business district was devastated, and fires raged along the waterfront, where huge tanks of butane gas stood imperiled. Shortly after midnight, a second freighter, also carrying nitrates, exploded, and the whole sequence began again. More than 500 people died, and another 1,000 were badly injured. Number 7, The Tungusk Revent On June 30, 1908, a huge explosion occurred near the Podkaminia Tungusk River, in what is now Krasnoyarsk Cry of Russia. The airburst was most likely caused by a meteor or comet fragment about 20 meters across. Although the meteor or comet is considered to have burst prior to hitting the surface, this event is still referred to as an impact event. The energy of the blast was estimated to be between 10 and 20 megatons of TNT, 1,000 times more powerful than the bomb dropped on Hiroshima, or equivalent to Castle Bravo. The most powerful nuclear bomb ever detonated by the US. 
The Tonga Ska explosion felled an estimated 80 million trees over 2,150 square kilometers. The devastation is still visible today in satellite images of the area. Number 6, The Empire State Building Crash On July 28, 1945, a B-25 Mitchell bomber carrying two pilots and one passenger headed from New Bedford, Massachusetts to Lake Gardu Airport in New York City became lost in the dense morning fog. Air traffic control instructed the plane to land in nearby Newark Airport instead, taking the plane directly over the island of Manhattan. The pilot, flying low and slow and seeking visibility, narrowly missed the Chrysler building in Midtown Manhattan. In doing so, however, the plane flew directly into the north side of the Empire State Building, its jet fuel exploding on impact. Fortunately, few offices were open on a Saturday, and only 11 people, plus the three occupants of the plane, died. Number 5, The Gillingham Fire Demonstration Every year the firemen of Gillingham, in Kent, England, would construct a makeshift house out of wood and canvas for the popular firefighting demonstration at the annual Gillingham Park Fed. Every year, too, a few local boys were selected from many aspirants to take part in the charade. On July 11, 1929, nine boys, aged 10 to 14, and six firemen costumed as if for a wedding party, climbed to the third floor of the house. The plan was to light a smoke fire on the first floor, rescue the wedding party with ropes and ladders, and then set the empty house ablaze to demonstrate the use of the fire hoses. By some error, the real fire was lit first. The spectators, assuming the bodies they saw burning were dummies, cheered and clapped, while the firemen outside directed streams of water on what they knew to be a real catastrophe. All 15 people inside the house died. Number 4, The Pittsburgh Gasometer Explosion A huge cylindrical gasometer, the largest in the world at that time, located in the heart of the industrial center of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, developed a leak. On the morning of November the 14th, 1927, repairmen set out to look for it, with an open flame glow lamp. At about 10 o'clock they apparently found the leak. The tank, containing 5 million cubic feet of natural gas, rose in the air like a balloon and exploded. Chunks of metal, some weighing more than 100 pounds, were scattered great distances, and the combined effects of air pressure and fire left a square mile of devastation. 28 people were killed and hundreds were injured. Number 3, The Great Boston Molasses Flood On January 15, 1919, a large molasses storage tank burst at the Purity Distilling Company facility in Boston, Massachusetts. As a result, around 2,300,000 gallons of molasses flooded the streets at speeds up to 35 miles per hour. In the end, 21 were killed and 150 were injured. According to local folklore, the streets still smelled of molasses on hot summer days for years afterward. Number 2, The Shell Baptist Church Panic 2,000 people, mostly black, jammed into the Shell Baptist Church in Birmingham, Alabama, on September 19, 1902, to hear an address by Booker D. Washington. The brick church was new. A steep flight of stairs, enclosed in brick, led from the entrance doors to the church proper. After Washington's speech, there was an altercation over an unoccupied seat, and the word fight was misunderstood as fire. The congregation rose as if on cue and stampeded for the stairs. Those who reached them first were pushed from behind and fell. A 
others fell on top of them until the entrance was completely blocked by a pile of screaming humanity ten feet high. Efforts by Washington and the churchmen down in the front to induce calm were fruitless, and they stood by helplessly while their brothers and sisters, mostly the latter, were trampled or suffocated to death. There was neither fire, nor even a real fight, but 115 people died. Number 1, The St. Pierre Snake Invasion Volcanic activity on the ball of mountain, towering over St. Pierre, Martinique, was usually so inconsequential that no one took seriously the fresh steaming vent holes and earth tremors during April 1902. By early May, however, ash began to rain down continuously, and the nauseating stench of sulfur filled the air. Their homes on the mountainside made uninhabitable, more than 100 fiddle-ant snakes slithered down and invaded the mulatto quarter of St. Pierre. The six-feet-long serpents killed 50 people and innumerable animals before they were finally destroyed by the town's giant street cats. But the annihilation had only begun. On May the 5th, a landslide of boiling mud spilled into the sea, followed by a tsunami that killed hundreds and, three days later, May the 8th, Mount Pili finally exploded, sending a murderous avalanche of white-hot lava straight toward the town. Within three minutes St. Pierre was completely obliterated. Of its 30,000 population, there were only two survivors. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching. Subscribe our channel for latest notifications.